I think His Excellency's uh, speech really summed up the opportunity here. Uh, we are the today, the youth of Bahrain is Bahrain's future. And from that perspective, the uh, benefit of this event is the ability to collate all the right factors that are needed to ensure we catapult towards tomorrow's future, right? The students are here. We're talking about STEM to students who are not STEM. We're talking about the cocktail of ideas that we can create. And last but not least, we're motivating and giving these students the real case studies of what it means to be an entrepreneur, but not just entrepreneur creating business, but also an innovator. So I think this was a great platform to be able to do that. Uh, this is my second year doing this event, um, and I've uh, been covering the country for uh, almost five years. Uh, and before that, being in the Middle East, I've experienced it for almost uh, you know, uh, two decades. Um, I think I've always found Bahrain to be very innovative. I've always found businesses in Bahrain to be very creative. Uh, I've always, always found the business and ideas that come from Bahrain to be on the pioneering side. Uh, again, a great example of what lies ahead for it in the future. It's not all uh, beautiful and crystal clear because uh, there are tough times in the region right now. So I think it is extremely important now to foster this uh, community of uh, uh, you know, meeting of the minds, creating ideas, and more importantly, helping guide the people of the tomorrow, the future, the students, the youth towards the how, the what, and the why they need to focus on creating the value. And I think we're doing that today in this event. I have a passion for education, so my answer might be biased. I was in education for almost a decade before I joined Dell EMC. Uh, look, students can find inspiration from anywhere, number one. Uh, students can also hear from entrepreneurs who are willing to share their story but that is simply a voluntary act. I think the only institute that really holds the responsibility to you know, impart that knowledge and education is the academic uh, bodies around us. And University of Bahrain, being the biggest university in Bahrain, uh, has a huge responsibility to ensure that along with the standard academics which it uh, covers and imparts, it tackles the new age that students are about to enter into. It tackles the soft skills that students need to be able to do. It tackles beyond the books and the real stories of how to create innovation and entrepreneurship. So I think the responsibility is extremely huge for the University of Bahrain, and I think this is a great example of an event that tackles exactly that uh, opportunity.